Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. Today we are conquering one of my personal fiber heroes, Ingle Nook. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so stay tuned. So Ingle Nook is one of those iconic, super intense, you have to set your alarm to get one of their things on update day because otherwise you're just out of luck kind of a maker. Um, these ladies are orthodox nuns and they have a talent for color and texture. Like, if you've not looked them up, I mean, what are you doing with your life? Links down below, go do that thing because it's gonna blow your mind, right? <laughs> The first time I saw them, I literally was speechless. They were amazing and continue to be amazing. So I've wanted to get some other fiber for a really long time. But like I said, you pretty much have to have an alarm to get it. So I got lucky and I got some of their fiber and it was so beautiful in real life. I also got one of their bat in a braids, which a, I thought that was brilliant, right? A bat and a braid. They do these custom fiber blends where they have really unique fibers. Mine had flax in it. Um, you'll see more when I get to the unboxing portion of this video. Um, and at first I was like, this is a cool thing. I really love comb top, right? right? But then when I got it and I started spinning it, I really saw the bat and the braid concept come to life. The way they executed it really did feel like I was spinning a bat with the different textures and the color nuances. It was super cool. Um, and the braids are easier to snag than the bats. So if you get a braid, don't feel like you've missed out because they have a very similar vibe to the bats. Okay, so this particular spin, I wanted to try and kind of hone my um, ingle nookiness and go for a semi-solid gradient situation while also honoring myself and taking things apart. <laughs> so you'll see during the prep, and then if you're a Patreon patron, I go over it in the voiceover, how I did this, how I arranged it, how I pulled out some of the comb top to get it to line up, and I did weigh them to make sure they were roughly the same weight. So in this first video, we'll spend the first half, and then the second video, we'll spend the second half, and the third video, we'll ply and talk about how it went. So without further ado, let's get into spinning that first half.
so wasn't that good? Like, you saw the prep and you saw the first half of this fan and it was Oh, the colors and the texture are just so freaking good, right? The camera cannot even capture how great this is. Um, all of the hype worth it, all of the hype worth it. So I hope you enjoy that. And I'm gonna talk more on the next video of kind of my thought process and where I was going with this. But right now, I'm gonna be honest, my camera battery is about to die. And yeah, so. <laughs> Catch me back next week. I'll be more talky, right? So if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to catch these shenanigans, hit the subscribe button. And as per usual, this video is brought to you by our Patreon people. If you want to be a Patreon people in return for cool perks like the voiceover versions of these videos or recipe cards, you can follow the links down below. And if you are in the market for a wheel, I am a dealer for what I consider the best spinning wheel company. And I'm not just saying that I've tried lots of them. I really do like these guys best. Spinolution. Um, you can follow the links down below. Hit me up with questions or snag the wheel that you've been looking for and I would be delighted to have your support in that way. So until next time, I will see you again with a fuller battery. Bye!